about 10 years ago, we had a mutual friend that uh, introduced us to uh, James and, and Michael Ann Gall. They would host monthly meetings uh, at their ministry headquarters, and so uh, we would always come up to that, and they just got to see our face more and more, and so that was really our first encounter uh, through a mutual friend just coming to some monthly gatherings. Uh, James really has a heart to connect leaders, uh, to network the body of Christ, uh, has a heart for revival, for the presence of of God um, and one thing that's a hallmark of the ministry also is just uh, God's heart for Israel uh, impacting people to, to know God's plans and purposes for Israel in the, in the end days. I would say probably through the the different arms of the of the ministry uh, Compassion Acts comes to mind with all of the, the humanitarian aid that goes on in the other nations uh, that's really powerful when people see that someone loves enough, them enough to meet their physical needs and that's just an open door for people then to, uh, to receive Jesus, to have that door of opportunity to, to talk about the love of Jesus. And uh, a really neat concept is just hitting the streets with uh, the supernatural power of God. I know James has raised up many in this generation just to, to take the gospel to the streets with prophetic words, with signs and wonders, and you know, countless salvations of courage just out on the streets through James mentoring younger guys to just get out there and do the works of Jesus on the streets. Discipleship to me is uh, just, uh, I think that before they were called Christians at Antioch, the Bible says they were simply disciples of Jesus. They were followers of Jesus. So I think a disciple is someone who's fully devoted to what they believe in, to who they're following. So uh, I would say, you know, anyone that, you know, says they're fully devoted to what Jesus is and about, I would call them a disciple. I would encourage people just to check out the website. It's a tremendous tool. It's a, it's a resource. Uh, you can see all of the branches of the Ministry of Encounters Network on the website. Uh, just, uh, you know, if you have the opportunity, any ministry leaders out there that have the opportunity, if you haven't met James, just to get to know him. Uh, but the website, you know, there's tons of media out there that James has already produced. There's books out there. Uh, so I would just say, you know, just avail yourself to the material that's already out there. I really feel like that God's given me a mandate just to, to, to teach people uh, how to dwell with Him. Uh, that's the name of our church, the dwelling place. And so I get up, you know, every day to just see people become closer to God, to know that He wants relationship with us. He wants every one of us to be a dwelling place for Him. And so just to, 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 to you know, have that mandate that I think God's given me to, have, to let people have a real relationship with Him that He wants to dwell with them. Uh, I, I, that's what I want to see every day. Uh, just a big, huge thank you to, uh, to James Gall. Uh, I know Michael Ann's in heaven now, but they've just been such a tremendous uh, blessing to my wife and I, and the impact they've had on our lives. We're just uh, so grateful for that. So just want to be a shout out and thank you to James and Encounters Network. If you know of a ministry that we need to know about, please give us a call, 888-641-8606, or take a look at our website, revelationstv.org.